Hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how non-technical business users can quickly create dynamic and great looking SharePoint forms in less than 15 minutes by using Quizcom Forms. Quizcom Forms is a forms and mobile solution for SharePoint on-premises and online designed for non-technical business users. Looking at other form design tools such as Microsoft InfoPath, one can clearly see that a business user cannot get near such a tool. Such form design tools are designed for power users or even developers. So once an organization decides on working with such a form designer, it will have to employ or hire the services of form experts team that will implement forms for the entire organization, which means a bottleneck by design and high cost of forms implementation and maintenance. This is exactly what makes Quizcom Forms different. Quizcom Forms is designed for non-technical business users, enabling every site owner to create the forms required by his team, getting rid of the need for an expensive forms experts team and dramatically reducing the cost of forms creation and maintenance. How do we do it? Instead of introducing another complex form designer that creates forms that replace the SharePoint forms, we enhance the existing SharePoint list forms and turn them into smart and dynamic forms. So no need to learn any new complex form designer. Instead, use simple and easy to use configuration pages that enable you to create amazing forms a lot faster and without the need for any special training or technical skills. Quizcom Forms includes many features to support your forms and mobile needs. Let's take Quizcom Forms for a quick ride, see how easy it is to create dynamic SharePoint forms. Ok, so we have a sales leads list on our Office 365 sales workspace. Let's take a look at the sales lead form. This is a basic form that we created by using SharePoint out of the box. The form has about 20 fields. Some of them are about the customers, some about the lead and some about the, the price, etc. We have several problems with this form. The account contacts list displays all contacts. We would like to display only the contacts of the selected account. There are several fields in this list that should be visible depending on the user's selections in other fields. For example, published on site should be visible only if the selected lead source is add banner. Otherwise, this field shouldn't be visible. The products field should be visible only if the selected lead type equals to product license. Otherwise, this field should not be visible. Same goes for work estimate. The work estimate field should be visible only if lead type is equal to custom project. Only then this field is relevant. At the bottom we have the upsell amount field and the upsell details field. Both should be visible only when I check the upsell field. And finally we have the lead rejection reason it should be visible only if the status of this uh, lead is customer rejected. So, as you can see, we need a highly dynamic form that changes according to the user input. Otherwise, we end up with a long, confusing form which is hard to work with. Let's spend the next three minutes to configure Quizcom forms and add the required dynamic behavior to our SharePoint form. Ok, so let's go to back to the list view and here in the list ribbon click the quiz conforms ribbon button. This will take us to the quiz conforms landing page. As you can see we have a lot of features. We're going to focus on the first feature which is dynamic column permission which allows us to dynamically show, hide or disable fields according to various logic criteria. Ok, so let's configure our first field permission rule. We want the published on site field to be visible only if the lead source is add banner, which means 
the published on site should be invisible unless add banner is the selected value. Let's configure this rule. So we're selecting the published on site and we're adding a rule. And we want this rule to be applied in all list views. And we want this field to be hidden unless lead source equals add banner. So as long as lead source is not equal to add banner, this field needs to be hidden. And there we have under all rules, after we click the apply, we have it in a human readable format. So it says hide published on site field in the new item, form item, edit item and, and view item forms when lead source is not equal to add banner. Let's see how this works. Let's open the uh, sales leads list in a new tab and let's open the new item form. Okay, so as you can see, we don't see the published on site field, but when we'll select the add banner, here it is. And if we select any other value, it becomes invisible again. Okay, so let's quickly add a few more rules to improve our form's dynamic behavior. We've just implemented the first one, so let's go to the others. Okay, so we have our rules set up. Let's check our form. Let's see how it behaves now. I'm switching back to the list form. This is the new item form and let's refresh it. Okay, so let's see several behavior, different behaviors right now. So if I select the add banner, I see the published on site. And if any other value I see, uh, I don't see this field. Let's select a fill a lead type of product license. Now I see the products uh, field. If I select custom project, I don't see the product field and I see the work estimate field instead. And for any other value, both of them are invisible. Also, if I check the upsell checkbox, only then I see these two fields, otherwise they are invisible. So there we did it in just in two minutes, we added uh, this dynamic behavior. We have one more task left. We want the account and the account contact to be linked together. So uh, I, when selecting an account, I should see only that account contact. Okay, so let's add this cascading behavior for the account and account contact field back to the quiz conforms settings page. Let's go back to the main page. 
and here we have the cascading lookup uh, uh, option let's select it and this page allows me to um, change lookup fields and make them cascading lookup fields so let's start with uh, the account field so it, it's connected to this field and let's leave it like this clicking apply now the other field is the account contacts this field I would like to be uh, filtered by the account field so here filter option based on this column I need to select the account field this is the field that will filter the account details and this is the field that is compared so every account uh, contact has a customer lookup so every contact belongs to some account or customer and let's click apply and let's go back to the new item form again refreshing it okay so as you can see now we have the accounts drop down it looks a bit different because now you can also search so if you have many accounts you can do a text search and by default the account contacts list now is empty because there's no selected account when I select an account I will see only the contacts that belong to this account so this is uh, a cascading behavior that allows you to filter the content of one field according to the selection in other fields okay we have only three minutes left what can we do in three minutes let's improve the layout of this form by making it a multi-tab and multi-column form this will make the form a lot more convenient to work with going back to the quiz conforms landing page I'll select the field group slash tabs option here I can divide my form into multiple field groups and I can render these field groups as tabs or as accordion sections first thing I like to do is display multiple columns in a row so instead of just one field in a row my form will have two fields in each row and in this case I would like to display the field captions above the fields let's create our first group and this group would display the customer details and let's add rows so I'm adding the first row and now let's select the fields that I want to display in this tab I can also add some conditions for the visibility of this tab but I'll leave it as is clicking apply and let's add another group this group will display the lead details so let's add uh, the fields real quickly and let's add another group okay so we have three tabs let's see how it looks refreshing the screen okay so we have three tabs each tab displays its own data of course everything is dynamic and there we have it thanks for watching this video for additional info training videos and free trial version Please visit us at quizcom.com/forms.